And also, but if they if they spend five percent or ten percent more money, and they hire a corporate magician, they can double their lead count, which brings their now their cost of each lead is like fifty one or fifty two dollars a lead. So well, if you have a savvy magician that is familiar with being in front of a crowd, knows how to establish that rapport, right. which uh, maybe a salesperson is going to have a little bit of a challenge with that because they're going, he's trying to sell me something. But a magician, it's like, here, pick a card. You know, and, and you know, know yeah, for a moment, you're helping the attendee escape the busyness and the right. interaction of the trade show floor. The other challenge that sales forces have is that salespeople are trained to sell a product in a boardroom situation where everything is quiet, there's no distractions, and people are locked in and have ob made a time obligation to spend anywhere from 15 continuous minutes to maybe an hour. You know, we're on the trade show floor, there's so much hubbub, so much distraction that it's very difficult to work the same kind of pacing. So the magician gathers a crowd, does a 10-minute presentation filled with interaction, uh, live marketing, branding, and fun, and it just softens up the attendee, making them much more willing to watch a more formal presentation. And I think, again, because they're, the magician sort of isn't look like they work for the company, they can ask these questions like, who here is responsible for making the purchases in your company? 